Alright, so today we're going to be looking at something called deterministic finite automata. And this is a very abstract concept uh, as part of the automata theory, or the automaton theory of computer science, a small branch of it. Um, in essential terms, as you all know, uh, computers process data at a high level, be that um, computer code, for example Java, like a source code, high level stuff, as well there is the low level kind of business. So computer scientists at the more low level will deal with these kind of theories, these kind of equations and stuff like that for the uh, automata theory. And in simple terms, when dealing with these zeros and ones at the low level, of course there sometimes are some errors that are more likely to occur at certain times. For example, strings that end in zero. And that is kind of what we're looking at here, the probability of that happening, kind of what goes in, what's going to come out in that kind of state. So, what we're going to draw here, it's hard to explain, but um, something called a transition table, which will allow us to see per state, uh, per 0 and 1, what the likely um, output state would be. So there we got the 0 and the 1, and then on the side here I'm going to draw each of the different states. So, to represent state, I'll simply use an S. And then for each of these states, I will put in a couple of different strings. So um, we're going to use epsilon to represent nothing, of course, like so. And then below it, I'll have different combinations of binary digits. So we'll do 1 for state 1. We'll do 10 or 1, 0 for state 2. And then state 3, we'll do 1, 0, 0. So these are just different states that I've labeled here. So, if we to take a look at the first one, and we pair it with one of these numbers, and end it with one of these, these numbers, be it a 0 or a 1, we can identify what the output may be. So, for example, we can consider um, epsilon 0, and then we look through our list here to see if we have it in part of the input states. So. Epsilon 0 is not included, not as it's in, in, in its entirety at least. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel that and we're going to then look for just the 0. Do we see a 0 in its entirety? No, we do not. So we'll cancel that again and that will just put us at S0 like we're already there. So no movement there. Then we're going to look at 1, so Epsilon 1 and then we look for epsilon down here in the list, epsilon 1. Cannot see epsilon 1, so we'll cancel out the uh, epsilon, and we're left with 1 to look for. And yes, we do have 1 right here. So, in state 1, we can write that. And then we'll move on to the next state. So we'll pair state 1 with 0, so 1 with 0. Do we have 1, 0 in this list? Yes, we do. We have it at S2, so we'll copy that. And then we'll do the same thing with 1, so we'll do 1, 1. Do we have 1, 1 in here? No, we don't. Do we have 1? Yeah, we do. So that's at S1. And then we'll do the same. Down for state 2, paired with the 0, paired with the 1, gives us these results. 1, 0, 0 for 1. It's going to be 1, 0, oh, 1. And we'll look down here on the list. Do we have 1, 0, 0? Yeah, we do. So we'll write state 3. Then, paired with 1, do we have 101 on the list? No, we do not. Remove the 1. Do we have 0, 1 on the list? No. So we'll cancel the 0 again, and we'll look until we get 1, which we do have. Once again, at state 1. Again. <laughs> so, next one on. As you can see, the pattern emerging here. We'll st st try state 3 with 0 and then a 1 for the ending. So, 1000 and then we'll have 1001. So 1000, zero, 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 1001. Zero, zero, one. So, for 1000 or 1000, zero, 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 do we have it in the list? No, we do not. Do we have 000 zero, zero, zero in the list? No, we do not. We don't at all anywhere. So, 
that's just going to go back to, of course, s of 0. Then, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Do we have anything? No, we do not. No, no. But we do have a 1, again, at s1. So this is our output here for the transition table, considering these specific states. So now we're going to move on to something different here, something called a transition diagram. So we're going to apply what we have here in the transition table that we made, and we're going to turn it into somewhat of a machine that allows us to plug in certain strings of zeros and ones, and test to see if they meet any of these states. So by state being they end with one of these here listed corresponding uh, sets of binary digits. So what we're gonna do with this here, what it's, it's gonna allow us to do is we can pick an end state here and then after plugging in any of these strings that we may use, so for example I may use one like this, one zero one zero zero, which clearly does end in one zero zero. So we'll pick here to get a successful result S three as our expected final state or end state here. So then we'll copy here our data and set up the machine. So if we look at a starting point of S zero and have it correspond to a zero coming through on the string, we get a result of S0. So in other words, it comes back to itself. Then if we look at S0 on 1, it gives us S1. If we look at S1 on 0, it gives us S2. If we look at S1 on 1, it gives us S1 once again, so in other words it goes back to itself. If we look at S2 on 0, it gives us S3. If we look at S2 on 1, it brings us back to S1. If we look at S3 on 0, it brings us back to S0. If we look at S3 on 1, it's going to bring us to S1. So, now if we take a look at our string that we've chosen here, we can follow it starting at S of 0 to see where it goes. So, initial state, we plug in the 1. 1, where does it go? It's going to go to S1. S1 with a 0 is going to go here onto S2. And then if we look S2 on 1, it's going to go back to S1. And then if we look at S1 on 0, it's going to go to S2. And then on S2 again on 0, it's going to go to S3. So this here, under our circumstances here, would in fact pass because it does fit the requirements and give us what we expected. But if we do a different example here, so maybe we do 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This example here, if we start on S of 0, we follow it along. We don't expect it to give us the, the ending point here of um, 1, 0, 0, so it won't have a state 3. It may have a state 1, but it won't have a state 3. So let's follow it along and check. So S0 on 0 is going to bring us back. So we're here again. S0 on 1 is going to bring us to S1. S1 on 0 is going to bring us all the way down here to S2. And then S2 on 1 is going to bring us back to S1. S1 on 1 is then going to bring us back to ourself here. So we're going to end on S1. So the ending here is not going to fit with S3, which is how we set up the system. But it is, if we were to reset the system with a different ending, so if we set it to, to S1 as an ending, 
it would in fact meet state one's requirements. And that in essence here is what the transition diagram is with the transition table and a little peek into what is automata theory, a small branch of computer science. And uh, I hope you enjoyed.